Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manhar and welcome back to my safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to enable and configure per user Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication in Microsoft Entra ID. Security is essential for every organization, which is why we should configure multi-factor authentication for every user in the Microsoft Entra ID tenant. MFA enhances our organization's security by requiring users to verify their identities using more than just a username and password. The best way to protect users with Microsoft Entra MFA is to create a conditional access policy. Conditional access is a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 feature that let you apply rules to require MFA as needed in certain scenarios. For Microsoft Entra ID free tenants without conditional access, you can use security defaults to protect users. Users are prompted to MFA as needed, but you can't define your own rules to control the behavior. With per user MFA, you don't have many options to configure. You can only enforce, enable and disable MFA for the users. The good thing is that it is free. When you enable users individually, they perform MFA each time they sign in. You can enable exceptions such as when they sign in from trusted IP addresses or when the remember MFA on trusted devices feature is turned on. In this video, we will enable per user Microsoft Entra multi-factor authentication to enhance the security of sign-in events. Let's access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Just to let you know, we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. First, let's check if security defaults are enabled in our tenant. On overview page, click on properties. Under security defaults, we can see green mark that indicates security default is currently enabled in our organization. Click on manage security defaults. We can confirm our organization is currently using security defaults. Let me close it. Expand users and click on all users. At top bar, click on per user MFA. This page displays the user MFA state. Check the box next to the name of the user to change the state. For example, let's enable MFA for our user David Warner. Select David Warner and click on Enable MFA. On confirmation pop-up, click on Enable. Wait for confirmation message. MFA was enabled successfully for the selected user David Warner. At top, click on Users. Click on Refresh and again click on Per User MFA. Check the MFA status for David Warner. It should be enabled. Currently, MFA is enabled for this user, but it hasn't been set up yet. Once the user sets up MFA for their account, the MFA status will be changed to Enforce. Open your in private window. Enter my account.microsoft.com and hit Enter key. Sign in using your Microsoft Entra user account and password as you normally do. Enter user password and click on Sign in. Once you configure MFA, the next time a user logs into the account, the system will prompt the user to set up a multi-factor authentication. You will be prompted for more information. There are many authenticator options available. In this video, we will use the Microsoft Authenticator, which can be downloaded from most major application stores such as the iOS App Store or Google Play Store. Choose Next. If you have it installed on your mobile device, select Next and follow the prompts to add this account. If you don't have it installed, there is a link provided to download it. Click Next to continue. To set up the account, click Next. Open the Authenticator app in your phone. 
select add account icon and then select work or school account the scan the qr code page appears scan the provided code with the microsoft authenticator app qr code reader this will connect the microsoft authenticator app with your account now select next on the scan the qr code page a notification is sent to the microsoft authenticator app on your mobile device to test your account enter this number in microsoft authenticator app to approve the notification tap on yes to approve it once you approve the notification in the microsoft authenticator app you will see the message notification approved select next to continue click done to complete the process this microsoft entra user has successfully registered for multi factor authentication using the microsoft authenticator application the user can now use the microsoft authenticator app to perform mfa whenever needed once the user complete the instructions to specify additional verification method the next time user sign in user will be prompted to provide the additional verification information or action such as typing the verification code provided by the authenticator application let's go back to microsoft entra admin center click on users and click on refresh again click on per user mfa check the mfa status for david warner since david warner has registered for multi factor authentication using microsoft authenticator app and that's why mfa status is changed to enforce go to service settings tab from here you can enable exceptions such as when users sign in from trusted ip addresses or when the remember mfa on trusted device feature is activated for now we will not configure it so this is how we can enable per user microsoft entra multi factor authentication in microsoft entra id tenant that's it for today's video i hope you found this video useful and informative if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps please leave a comment below Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.